down. This baby's good. We should probably just take it the way it is. Psych, we got a bunch of crap to do. All right, it's the next day. Let's get this baby washed up and uh, figure out what's wrong with it. Stay tuned. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's let the, the prep begin. <laughs> How are the bolts, Mario? Super tight. <laughs> All right, boys, we're done. We did a quick patch job on the bump stop mount there. You can see I had to fill it in pretty good. I threw some paint over it, we're done. Uh, basically, this thing was a split, so I had to fill in the gap and whatever, nothing crazy. Got that done, did a bolt check, basically, just checking if the bolts were even there. And then we will mark them with a paint marker to make sure everything's good. But I went around everything, checked everything for cracks, touched up some spots here and there on the frame that were rusted or peeling. Um, the only thing is, see like, shit like this, but basically on the other side, it was split open. So I had to fill it in pretty good. And uh, that takes time. So it takes time to sand it down, prep it, whatever, but we got it done. Uh, limit straps are still intact. They might still use these. <laughs> no, and never mind. I won't use them. I'll change them. Uh, that's the only thing. And then just find out a way to start tying everything down back here because the tires is kind of loose and the cooler's tight, but we need a mark, my little tool tote plastic box that goes back here. Um, but yeah, dude, so far so good. We're using work to get these things done. We still have a few things to get done, so I will still leave it here. Let's go back to the house and let's start working on the bike. Let's finish one bike and then start working on the blue bike. And if you are new to the channel, this is the pre-runner. So we gotta get this thing ready so that way we can drive this and ride the bikes. Anyways, still got a little bit of cleaning to do, but uh, so far so good. Pretty soon this whole back will just come off. We'll link the bastard. Oh yeah, and change a bolt. Uh, once we change that bolt there, we'll be good to go. But yeah, this is the travel that it pulls here in the rear and the front. I think we're, uh, we're ahead of the game right now. There we go, sitting on its own weight. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching another episode. Now, before we get started, I want to say Merry Christmas. Hope you all had a great one. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, nothing to worry about. Hope you had a great long weekend. We got Toby in the mix. He's here hanging out with us today. We're going to go ahead and get started on what we got to do. What's left to do? <laughs> Toby thinks we're taking pictures. <laughs> and since the last time we hung out, we know now that this baby's purring. She's doing good. She idles. She runs. She starts. As for this bad boy, there was... The fluid was, like, super corroded in here. Uh, the piston was stuck on the caliper. So, basically, the front wheel would drag when you'd ride it. I thought it was possibly because of this line being you know, kinked up and stuff like that, which probably was a problem. But when I unkinked it and rerouted it, even when I tried to bleed it, uh, it still wouldn't move. So I was like, damn, all right, what do I do? So I just took the whole thing apart, basically just the caliper. And then I found out here that these clips are super worn out and they don't hold the pads in place. So basically the pads just fall in and get stuck with the rotor. So, I'm not gonna worry too much on getting this thing together, just because those clips, they're only 20 bucks, like each one or something like that, but they're not gonna arrive in time.
So there's no reason for me to stress out on this thing or even think about trying to clean the carb. So I'm gonna make my life easier by focusing on charging the battery on this thing and finishing my pride and joy. So let's get started. Stay tuned. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? <laughs> so quick rundown. We got a light. We got a connector. We bought a little wiring harness. This came with a switch. Bought some bolts. Uh, bought an actual switch for the handlebar. Bought a flathead because I seem to only have the actual like Phillips screwdriver. So with the stuff that we have here, this will either, I don't know, whatever, it'll help me. It's gonna help us keep moving. I mean, why else would you buy shit, right? I guess this baby's full. I was gonna show you how it worked, but yeah, just like that, it says it's full. So one of the things I ordered, ordered this light. Let's hope it fits, let's hope it looks good. And uh, let's keep moving. Oh yeah, the quad over there, done deal. Charger said it's full. We turned it over a few times, seemed pretty strong. If not, ah, I can push Wendy around, I'm not tripping. We'll go ahead and pop the number plate off and then uh, swap it with this bad boy, see how it looks. Ain't that right? All right, so it wasn't a quick ass swap. Let me explain. Number one, this headlight doesn't go to this bike. I bought it, didn't care, I knew I was gonna modify it, so. I drilled uh, two holes down here so that it slides onto the original mounts, which is not bad. Adjusted that bad boy all the way down. That way the light is pointing straight. Um, everything is actually pretty decent. It comes with these little rubber mounts, which are pretty cool. And it was a very simple, easy install, except for pretty much drilling my finger, which... <laughs> Good thing I had my glove, well, my little rubber gloves on, but it went right through it and I stopped right away. This thing looks pretty good and everything is pretty secure. This is just from the rubber stretchiness. We have our switch. We went ahead and had a splice and make our own cable. Don't worry, this is all excess, we'll cut it. Eh? Nice, even, even this bad boy is functional. You turn it off, boom. <whistles> Pretty cool. Decent looking light. Doesn't go to this bike, but we made it work. So the whole goal in mind for this thing was to basically get the headlight put on it, you know, make it look a little bit cooler than it already is. And uh, I think I'm gonna call it a night now. I feel like I accomplished something. Um, you know, if I, if it doesn't stick on me or, you know, I'm probably just going to take it off, put the number plate back on. It looks good the way it is anyways. I figured with the headlight, I can probably do some night rides and then, uh, possibly make it look like it's street legal so I can ride it on the street. I'm going to call it a night. That way tomorrow I can come in here, I'll cut the cable that way, or like cut the harness. That way it fits properly and everything looks like it's supposed to be there. And then, um... Maybe ride the bike on the street for a little bit, try and, uh, you know, see if it feels a lot better than the last time I rode it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey, it's the next day. We got this thing running. Well, you saw that it's idling. You saw that the light turns on. You saw that everything functions. Now, we're back on the charger because we turned it on so many times that the battery was dying. Uh, I was able to ride it. I did take it out on the street. It looked street legal. Oh, crap. It looked street legal, but obviously it doesn't have signals. So only from the front. Turned out this light is super bright because it was blinding the shit out of people. But, hey, oh well.
It is what it is. Now we do have good news and we do have some bad news. Good news is this baby works. Bad news is it doesn't work for everyone. <laughs> it works for me. So this is what we're going to do. We're just going to write it. We're going to write it out. Hopefully it just starts idling by itself. My main thing is when you fire it up, you have to have the choke on. When you want to take off and like actually go ride it, you can ride off with the choke, but you will have to click it off. Now, my main thing is the idle jet is probably clogged. I don't know why. I don't know even know what's going on with it because I cleaned it all. Put everything back the way it was. If it wasn't put back together, this baby wouldn't even run. So, uh, whatever. It turns on, it idles, it'll sit there for as long as you want it to. The moment you click that choke off, shuts off. So, I'm going to have to drop it off to somebody. When I get back, not now, I'm just going to take it the way it is. I've dealt with these before. I don't have an issue with it. I have a lot of patience with these things. Because when daddy wants to go, we're going. You know, if we feel like we're forcing it, we'll just give it a break. Put it away. We got the pre-runner. I'm not tripping, dude. So we'll take it just because my boy Andy will be taking his bike. And I feel like we need to put some miles down. The only time this bike is no good is when you want to stop and just sit there with the bike on. Who does that? So <laughs> just keep riding, my friend. Get the breeze and stuff in your hair and that rat's nest. We need a haircut, my friends. Anyways, we're going to keep this baby going. I'm going to be able to ride it. Don't trip. And if we have any issues, well, hopefully it's some good content. But I can say, well, it doesn't have a seat right now, but the bike looks great. It's got a modern look. It's got uh, a nice wiring harness. I did it, and I'm pretty proud. It's got a little fuse in case something blows, you know, blows a fuse, not my ass. And then, uh, you know, it's got a relay that's kind of bolted to the frame there. It's got quick disconnects. Little connectors there, somewhere around here, somewhere. Take that bad boy off, slap the number plate on. Dude, you're in full race mode. I did this light because it looks badass. And it does defeat the purpose of the MXC, but... Dude, that thing looks nice. I like that. So the battery is almost charged. What I do want to do is... I do want to turn it on still, move it around a little bit. I can't go to sleep without with, with things like this. I, you're probably like, Danny, you already took it apart a hundred times. Why don't you just do it one more time and get it done? That's the problem. I've taken it apart so many times, I'm over it. So uh, that tank has to come off every single time. Um, I used this hose last time, took the tank off, put the tank on top of a little like TV dinner table and I would feed gas to the bike like that. Before I got this sweet charger that I'm very proud of, um, we had to kick the bike every time. So if the bike wouldn't start, you'd just be kicking and kicking and kicking. You'd adjust the air screw, then it'd fire up only with a choke on, and then you have to turn the choke off and keep it revving and try and hopefully make it stay on. I was able to get that done, but I had tuned it without the spark arrestor. Now it's got a spark arrestor and we have to detune it because it was like super high up, everything. Um, anyways, the battery died already a few times or battery already died once and I had to charge it. Now it's like 10.45 at night. My neighbors already have complaints on, I didn't put these pads, but they were already here and I'm hoping that it stops it. Wendy just gave me a call right now and said, hey, it's a little bit too late to be turning on that bike. Plus, I'm revving it and shit. And whatever. Anyways, we're going to call it night. I will see you guys tomorrow. We still got some vlog left. So, um, we got to go ahead and take these bikes. We got to get both these bikes over to Seba's house, which is one of my best buds. Um, we got to get these two bikes over there to his house. He's going to tow them out for us. We're actually fortunate enough to be able to stay in his trailer for the weekend. So, thanks, Sebas. Anyways... Get this done tomorrow. I don't know. Whatever. Stay tuned. All right. Let me show you what I got. We've came along. We've come a long way. 
So we've come this far. Truck is done. The bike is semi done. But let me show you what I got done. Once we get off work, we start our second job. This is what I call this place because we're always working on that or we're always working on this. Also got a sick ass curveball thrown at me. Um, I had to take all this stuff out and leave it at Sebas' house, put it in his trailer because it turns out his Can-Am, or I'm sorry, his Razor, takes up all the space in the trailer. So, so that means the quad doesn't fit, and neither does the dirt bike. So, that stuff has to come out, all of it, throw it in his toy hauler, and then we'll stand up Wendy's quad, throw it sideways, tie it from that rail to that rail, to that tube to that tube, and then I have my Joe hauler, so it just connects to the hitch and the dirt bike will go on the back. And then we got about a good two, three feet of space there to go ahead and jam, I don't know, some gas cans or whatever, you know? Firewood, oh, firewood. I think I'm, I'm trying to get Wendy into burning our Christmas tree, but she's not too down with it because she likes it so much. Anyway, so that's what we're dealing with here, but we made it. We're getting so close. I just got to pull down our gear, wash it, and basically get our clothes ready and get Wendy ready, and that's about it. Yeah, good news. We bought tires for this thing too, so we'll have fresh meats on this bad boy. These bad boys were like super weather cracked, rock chunks and like most of them. And uh, the front one and the right passenger side didn't even look safe, so uh, yeah, it was time for tires. So the battery dead on this thing again. I'm charging it, I'm gonna do the last finishing touches to get it as best as I can. And then the rest is all hopefully out in the desert. Um, I'll park this thing and then you got to finish this because I'm not going to be able to touch it anymore after tomorrow because Friday we leave. And I have to go still mount the tires on Friday. So I got to take the bikes with me to work and then go on my lunchtime to go drop off the truck like at 12 because I have an appointment so they can go ahead and lift up the truck mount the new tires, balance them, and then bring it back home, drop it off, and go back to work. So, it's very busy, all to the last minute. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Like and subscribe. We got this baby dialed. I'll see you at the desert.